Our four scripture readings today can be summarized in two short sentences. They are happy who fear the Lord and who use their gifts and talents in the service of one another, especially the poor and the needy. And they shall be known as children of the light and will be ready for the Lord's return. That little summary of today's readings was published in 2020 in a booklet called The Ordo, a liturgical aid which explains the ritual options for every day in the calendar. Most Catholic churches have one of these booklets in the sacristy to assist the clergy in celebrating the sacred liturgy properly. And the entry for each Sunday contains a concise summary of the scripture readings assigned to that day. Listen again to the entry for today's lessons. They are happy who fear the Lord, from the psalm, who use their gifts and talents in the service of one another, from the gospel, especially the poor and the needy, from Proverbs, and they shall be known as children of the light and will be ready for the Lord's return, from 1 Thessalonians. That is a very tidy summary, and would that our lives were so easily arranged and neatly ordered. But we know that our lives are often a mess, that even simple things can be nearly beyond our strength and wisdom, that events can overwhelm us and wear us out, and that the divine teaching of the Word of God, which may seem very clear on Sunday, is often all but lost in the confusion and strife of living day to day. So, in our struggle to follow Christ, what are we to do? I suggest three things. First, we must put first things first, and the kingdom of God must always come first. When we are discouraged or confused about the truth, or tempted to sin, or filled with anxiety about the details of our lives, and we want only peace and clarity, then let us heed the Lord Jesus who says, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Second, we must remember that in the kingdom of God, worldly wisdom fails. That is the point of today's parable of the talents. Christ is not teaching us here how to invest money. He is teaching us that everything we have, have been, has been given to us for the sake of someone else, and that all worldly expectations of justice and mercy are confounded in his eternal kingdom. And if one day we are to live joyfully in the kingdom of God, then we must live each day now according to the wise folly of the gospel rather than the foolish wisdom of the world. And third, we pray every day for the coming of the kingdom of God, and so we must know that the kingdom is not a place, but a person, the Lord Jesus, who is the king of all creation. The kingdom of God is found in this world now among all people who are united with Christ by faith, hope, and love. And that kingdom will be consummated in the world to come for all those who, by God's grace, share in the unbounded glory and eternal love of the divine Savior. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Jesus.